শুনুন দেখবেন ক্রিমিনাল জাস্টিস Assalamualaikum, Shakal ke Shadar Amontron Criminal Justice Program Dekh Bhar Junno, Aami Solicitor Shafiul Azam, Principal of Azam and Co-Solicitors, Ebon Aamash Shate Aachian Criminal Lawyer Specialist Barrister, Aamar Colleague Barrister, Sadaf Atamadi. Criminal Justice Program Onustita Hoi, Maashir Puti Shonibar Dupur Dekta Teke Tinta, Ek Shonibar Live Program Hoi, Tare Paraburti Shonibar Thik Ekish Program Tee Ekish Shomoye Aabar Repeat Dekhano Hoi, অর্থাৎ রেকর্ডেড প্রোগ্রামটি আবার পুনঃ প্রচার করা হয় সুতরাং মাসের প্রতি শনিবার আপনারা ক্রিমিনাল জাস্টিস প্রোগ্রাম দেখতে পারেন দুপুর 1:30 থেকে 3:00 2002 সালে আমি আজাম এন্ড কোসিলিস্টার্স ফার্ম এস্টাবলিশ করেছি দীর্ঘ অনেক বছর ধরে আমি ক্রিমিনাল লয়ের উপর প্র্যাকটিস করে আসছি এবং আমার স্পেশালিজম হচ্ছে ক্রিমিনাল লয়ের উপর তাই এই প্রোগ্রামে আমরা শুধু ক্রিমিনাল ল বিষয়ে আলোচনা করি Confidentiality breach our risks tha ke bolle amra life program ek kono prashna nahi na. Ek jane specialist criminal defence solicitor hishabe ami onek bochhod dure police station, magistrates court, abong crown court e choto bolo onek doner case kore ashi. Tai community member der kaste ke vivinno shomaye vivinno prashna ba queries gulo amar kache ashi. She prashna guli tha ke most frequently asked question gulo report guru to diye ami criminal justice program e ralo chonar bishoy gulo thik kori. We are going to talk about the general principles of criminal law in this program. Every case has its own facts, merits and demerits. If you are facing a criminal investigation or concerned about something that involves the police, always seek advice from a specialist criminal defense solicitor. Amar Bhaktabbo Gulo Ami Banglai Abong English Mishai Abola Chesta Gorbo Jate Shabai Buzde Shubidahoi. On a criminal trial face court, the magistrate's court, among convicted hoche, among tadeke sentence, the hoche, among appeal court, the chai. Atske ami appeal a report bolbo, appeal against conviction or sentence. Magistrate's court verdict a report a kibabe abnara appeal corben. You went to your trial. You can appeal against your conviction or sentence or both if you pleaded not guilty. You can appeal your sentence but not your conviction if you pleaded guilty. You should appeal within 21 days of the date you are sentenced. If you don't, then you have to ask the Crown Court for permission before you can appeal. The Magistrate's Court where you had your trial will tell you how to do this. Shutarang Abni Jadi trial a face coren a magistrate's court a abong abni jadi a convicted horn sentence horn tell akush dinner mudde abni uterupore appeal court the parben. Jodi or beshi shomoy path hoyazat alabnake crown court and mudde application court hobe out of time appeal court arjuna permission chai to hobe. Get an appeal form Send the appeal form to the magistrate's court where the original trial took place. A few weeks before the hearing, you will get a letter telling you where and when it is. This is normally in your nearest Crown Court. Shutarang Abneta appeal form, Shabgula grounds gula diya complete kotte hobe. Abusho it abnake legal advice niya kotte hobe. Abong abnar kota appealer form ta submit korar pore abnake. একটা চিঠি পাঠাবে কোর্ট থেকে কোন ক্রাউন কোর্টের মধ্যে আপনার অ্যাপিলটা হবে নরমালি নিয়ারেস্ট ক্রাউন কোর্টের মধ্যে অ্যাপিলটা হবে ইউ ডোন্ট গো টু ইউ ট্রায়াল অনেক সময় হয় কি যে আপনি কোর্টে যান নাই আপনি অ্যাটেন্ড করেন নাই কিন্তু আপনার অ্যাবসেন্সে আপনাকে গিল্টি করা হয়েছে এবং আপনাকে সেন্টেন্স দেওয়া হয়েছে তখন কি করবেন ইউ শুড কন্টাক্ট দা ম্যাজিস্ট্রেটস কোর্ট that passed the sentence or convicted you. This applies if you did not realize you had been convicted for an offense. For example, speeding fine. You are unable to enter a plea or mitigation at the time. 
you sent mitigation evidence documents to the court but did not think they have been considered in your conviction they will be able to tell you let you know whether the case can be reopened সুতরাং যদি আপনি কোর্টের ট্রায়ালের জন্য না যান এবং আপনার অ্যাবসেন্সে যদি আপনাকে কনভিক্ট করা হয় সেন্টেন্স করা হয় এবং আপনি যদি মনে করেন যে আপনার মিটিগেশন যেগুলো পাঠাইছেন সেগুলো কোর্ট কনসিডার করে নাই এবং আপনি হয়তো কোর্টের হিয়ারিং এর নোটিফিকেশন রিসিভ করেন নাই তখন আপনি কোর্টের কাছে লিখতে পারেন এবং ম্যাজিস্ট্রেট কোর্ট কনসিডার করবে যে আপনার কেস এটাকে রিওপেন করা যায় কিনা আবার নতুন করে আবার ট্রায়ালের জন্য ক্রাউন কোর্ট ভ্যারিট এটা হইলো সবচাইতে আপনার ইম্পর্টেন্ট যেখানে আপনি ক্রাউন কোর্ট ডিসিশনের এগেনস্ট আপিল করতে হলে এটা লিগাল অ্যাডভাইস স্পেশালিস্ট অ্যাডভাইস ছাড়া করাটা উচিত না ইউ প্লিডেড গিল্টি ইউ ক্যান আপিল এগেনস্ট ইউ সেন্টেন্স যদি আপনি গিল্টি প্লিড করেন আপনি সেন্টেন্সের এগেনস্টে আপিল করতে পারেন ইউ প্লিডেড নট গিল্টি ইউ ক্যান আপিল এগেনস্ট ইউর কনভিকশন ওর ইউর সেন্টেন্স ওর বোধ ইউ ক্যান ডু যদি আপনি কনভিকশন এবং সেন্টেন্স দুইটার এগেনস্ট আপনি আপিল করতে পারবেন যদি আপনি গিল্টি প্লিড করেন ইউ ক্যান নর্মালি অনলি আপিল ইফ something went wrong at the trial if an important court procedure was not followed properly there is new evidence sutaran crown court verdict against appeal korte hole apnake mani legal advice specialist advice nite hobe ebong eta apnar dekhte hobe court e kono legal error hoyeche kina kono কোন একটা নতুন একটা একদম পুরা একটা নিউ একটা সাবস্টেন্সিয়াল এভিডেন্স আপনার আসছে অথবা কোর্টের একটা প্রসিজারাল ভুল হয়েছে এগুলো আপনার হতে হবে নাইলে আপনি হয়তো আপিল করাটা হয়তো ঠিক হবে না ইউ নিড টু অ্যাপ্লাই টু দ্য ক্রিমিনাল অ্যাপিল অফিস টু গেট পারমিশন টু অ্যাপিল যে আপনি অ্যাপিল করতে হলে অ্যাপিল এর পারমিশন নিতে হবে এবং অ্যাপিলটা হয় ক্রিমিনাল অ্যাপিল অফিসের মধ্যে কোর্ট অফ অ্যাপিল যেটাকে বলা হয় ক্রিমিনাল ডিভিশন ফর এ কনভিকশন ইউ মাস্ট অ্যাপিল উইদ ইন টোয়েন্টি এইট ডেজ অফ দ্য ডেট অফ ইউর কনভিকশন ইভেন ইফ ইউ ইয়ার সেন্টেন্স এট এ লেটার ডেট মনে করেন আপনাকে কনভিক্ট করেছে ফার্স্ট অফ জানুয়ারিতে সুতরাং আপনাকে অ্যাপিল করতে হবে উইদিন টোয়েন্টি এইট ডেজ ফ্রম ফার্স্ট অফ জানুয়ারি যদিও আপনাকে সেন্টেন্স দেওয়া হয়েছে হয়তো টেন্থ অফ জানুয়ারি তখন আপনার সেন্টেন্স এর জন্য হয়তো আপনার তারিখ থাকবে অ্যানোদার টোয়েন্টি এইট ডেজ ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু অ্যাপিল এগেনস্ট ইউর সেন্টেন্স দ্য টোয়েন্টি এইট ডে পিরিয়ড স্টার্টস ফ্রম দ্য ডেট ইউ ইয়ার সেন্টেন্সড সুতরাং যে তারিখে আপনাকে কনভিকশন করা হবে সেই তারিখ থেকে আঠাশ দিন যে তারিখ থেকে আপনাকে সেন্টেন্স দেওয়া হবে সেই তারিখ থেকে আঠাশ দিনের মধ্যে আপনাকে সেন্টেন্স দিতে আপিল করতে হবে যদি আপনি আপিল করতে চান এবং যদি গ্রাউন্ড থাকে ইফ পারমিশন ইজ গ্রান্টেড ইউর আপিল উইল বি হার্ড বাই দ্য কোর্ট অফ অ্যাপিল যদি পারমিশন গ্রান্ট হয় কোর্ট অফ অ্যাপিলে যদি গ্রান্ট করে তখন আপনার কেসটা পুরো হিয়ারিং হবে A few weeks before the hearing, you will get a letter telling you where and when it is. Jodhi permission grant kore, tokhon koi ek din aage, ab na ke eta chiti dibe, kothai, ebong, kon crown court ab na ke ista hearing habe. If you don't get permission to appeal, jodhi ab ni permission na paan appeal er jinnu, you will get a letter to say that you have not been granted permission to appeal. Jodhi chiti in muddha lekha tak be, ab na ke, আপিল করার জন্য পারমিশন দেওয়া হয় নাই আই উইল টক মোর অন অ্যাপিল ইন দ্য নেক্সট সেগমেন্ট এখানে অনেকগুলা লিগাল আপনার প্রসিজারাল জিনিসগুলা ইম্পর্টেন্ট আমি এক্সপ্লেন করব নেক্সট সেগমেন্টে আমাদের সেকেন্ড সেগমেন্টে বাট আই উইল ফার্স্ট মাই কলিগ বারিস্টার সাদাফ এটামাদি বিফোর দ্যাট থ্যাংকস And given that the criminal law is a fast, rapid-changing area of law, 
if anyone who is facing any criminal charges should get, seek the help of a specialist criminal defence firm. One topic I wanted to talk about today were about cases involving domestic violence or domestic abuse. Domestic violence in itself is not an offence, it's not a separate crime, but offences can be committed in a domestic nature or a domestic background. The definition of domestic is not confined to just current partners, but has a much wider definition. It is any incident of threatening behaviour, violence or abuse, this can include psychological, physical, sexual, financial or emotional abuse between adults who are or who have been intimate partners or family members, regardless of their gender or sexuality. This definition covers current partners, ex-partners, the partners of ex-partners, immediate family like parents, siblings, but also cousins and also um, mother-in-laws, father-in-laws and in-laws. As I have mentioned, any offence committed in a domestic setting can amount to domestic violence, but I'm just going to focus on one particular offence, the offence of assault, which is often a case that comes before the magistrate's court. The lowest form of assault is common assault um, and the law for that is section 39 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988. An assault or a common assault can be committed in two ways. It can either a common assault can be committed when a person intentionally or recklessly causes another to apprehend the immediate infliction of unlawful force. This does not require any physical contact or touching. For example, saying, I'm going to hit you, I'm going to smash your face in. This could make someone think that force or violence is going to be used against them. So would raising an arm but not making any contact. They, that person might think they're about to be hit. So there's no need for any physical touching for a common assault to be committed. A battery is another way a common assault can be committed and that's most likely to be the kind people are familiar with. Um, a battery is committed when a person intentionally or recklessly applies unlawful force to another. This requires actual physical contact. It doesn't require any injuries to have been caused. The grabbing of an arm would be enough. Poking someone could or would amount to a battery, and so would punching, slapping, they, they would also be batteries. The offence, so whether it's a common assault or a battery, they can be committed intentionally or recklessly. Just focusing on, focusing on intentional assault, th this is the most straightforward example. It's when you want to hit someone and you hit them and that's because what you want, that's, that was your intention. It's what you wanted to do. That's clearly intentional assault. Reckless assault is when you don't have the direct intention to make physical contact with someone or you don't have the direct intention to make someone think they are about to um, receive physical harm. It's more about appreciating that there's a risk and still taking it anyway. And there are two stages um, when deciding if something is a reckless assault. It's firstly if in the cir a circumstance where the person is aware of a risk and that risk exists or will exist. Secondly, it's a result when he is where he's aware of the risk, is aware that it will occur, and in the circumstances known to that person, it's an unreasonable risk to take. So putting it into context, for example, if two people were struggling with one another and they were facing each other, if person number one knows, for example, 
if he or she were to push person number two a little bit harder and that person number two could then fall or hit a wall and there is no real need to push person number two any harder, they would be committing a reckless battery. So it's more of an indirect assault. Um, it's all about the risks and taking, being aware of the risk and taking it. So those broadly are the definitions of common assault and assault by battery. And those are the elements um, which make a circumstance involving contact between two people unlawful. In relation to a common assault, it is something that's called a summary only offence. This case can only be heard in the magistrate's court. It will never go to the Crown Court. As I said before, it's the lowest form of an assault and therefore the magistrate's court, they will hear the case and they will also sentence the case. The maximum sentence that the court can impose um, on anyone is six months imprisonment and that's the maximum sentence the magistrate's courts have the power to sentence anyone. When it comes to sentencing, there are sentencing guidelines which put different assaults into different categories. So the magistrates can decide what the best sentence is or the most appropriate sentence is. There are three main categories of assault, categories one, two and three. Category 3 is the lowest, category 2 is the medium uh, level of assault and category 3 is the category, category 1 is the worst type of assault. The sentencing range that the magistrates have available to them starts off from a conditional discharge which is essentially an order made by the court against that person that we're not going to punish you today but if you commit another offence in 12 months time or 18 months time or two years time, if you commit another offence, you will be punished for the new offence, but we will come back and revisit this case and re-sentence you. So providing an, an, another offence is not committed, that's all, that order just remains. The next level up would be a fine. And again, that is dependent on the type of assault. Again, if it's something that's more low level, a financial penalty may be more appropriate and the magistrates would take into account that individual's person, that individual's means, um, their finances, if they're working, and impose a fine. The next level up would be a community order. And again, that is an order where that individual person would have to take, com undertake community work. This can either be a certain, out, certain set hours of unpaid work. It could be something like an electronic tag where you have a tag around your ankle and you must stay indoors between a particular period. It could be from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., for example. And it can run for a few weeks or a few months. Or it could also be unpaid work, where you are working within the community. If there's a particular problem, if there's a history of um, anger management, um, if there's a history of drugs or alcohol which are contributing to these offences, there can be individual programmes um, between that person and probation to help tackle those problems, and they can be part of a community order as well. The next level up would be a suspended sentence. That is similar to a conditional discharge in that the magistrates think that the case is very serious, that it attracts a custodial sentence. However, there are reasons which mean that they can suspend it. So what would happen is the person would be told, we're not going to send you to prison today but if you commit another offence within 12 months, 18 months or two years, when you commit the new offence, you, you can be sent to prison for this offence as well. It can be a standalone suspended sentence where you just have that order hanging over your head 
um, providing you don't commit any offences, you won't go to prison, or it can be a suspended or a suspended sentence order with requirements. So again, similar to the community requirements of unpaid work, tag, curfew. And the, the last um, sentencing option is immediate custody. So it could be from a period going up to six months, and that's usually reserved for the worst type of assaults. Again, each case differs on its facts, the assault, the background, um, if it's a person's first time coming to court or if they have previous convictions, but it's all fact dependent. There are also two common features which appear in domestic violence or domestic abuse cases, and these normally arise when it comes to trial. Uh, in domestic violence cases, it's very common that someone makes a statement to the police, making an allegation, and then further down the line, they then go back to the police and make a second statement. Um, which can be a withdrawal statement. What that essentially means is that person either says that the original statement was not true, it wasn't accurate or it was unreliable, or then they may have felt motivated to make the statement because of the argument and they wanted to get back at um, the individual. And they are trying to say that at the time um, what they were saying wasn't true and shouldn't be used in court. Or um, a statement can be made where they say, actually, I, I, originally I said I wanted to um, come to court and give evidence, but my circumstances have changed and I do not want to come to court and I have no interest in coming to court. So it's always worth noting whether such statements exist or not. Thank you, Sadaf. Dosho Kamara Shunchen, Barrister Sadaf Atamadi, a domestic violence report, Bunchile, among Amra at a break is at sea, breaker for Amra Bar Firashbo, Ami Solicitor Shafiulazam, principal of Azam and Co Solicitors, among Amashate Atse and Amar colleague Barrister Atamadi, Shabai, Amade Shate Tagun. Upner the Chin, Criminal Justice. 